Friends, it's Joan at Ten Pentacles Tarot, and today I've got a reading for my Cancer friends for April of 2023. Um, this is a general reading, so if everything uh, doesn't apply to you, um, that is perfectly normal. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. Today we're going to find out what the tarot says you should stop doing, start doing, and continue doing in order to make April the best month possible. So today I'm going to be using the Gilded Tarot Royale by um, Ciro Marchetti, and I think you'll find it's a very beautiful deck. I'm going to be doing a review on that soon, and um, at the end of the reading, please stay tuned because I'm going to answer a yes-no question that you may have with the Crystal Ball Pocket Oracle by Athena Noctua, so stay tuned for that. Now, on the cards you will see uh, males and females pictured. Um, this is energy only that the cards are describing, so um, the cards are not gender specific. They're there for everyone. All right, let me adjust this camera real quick. Okay, there we go. So, Spirit, what should Cancer stop doing in April in order to make it the best month possible? What should Cancer stop doing? Let's see how many. Let's not. That's too many. What should Cancer stop doing in order to make April the best month possible? Okay, there's two. What should Cancer start doing in order to make April the best month possible? What should Cancer start doing? Cancer start doing and what should cancer continue doing in order to make April the best month possible and one more all right very good now on the bottom of the deck is justice which is underlying everything and we will talk about that at the end and let's see what your cards are so what you should stop doing we have the six of cups reversed the Knight of Cups. What you should start doing, we have the Lovers. We have the Knight of Wands. What you should continue doing, we have the Five of Cups reversed and the Strength card reversed. So, very interesting. You've got one, two, three major Arcana cards in your reading. And, of course, Major Arcana cards are all about the main themes uh, in your life or lessons that you are needing to learn. So let's first stop. Okay, so um, we have the Six of Cups reversed and the Knight of Cups. Now, the Knight of Cups is a person on a mission and generally on a mission of love. So they're looking for um, something that makes them happy, happy. It could be a relationship. It could be a love relationship. It could be a friend, friendly relationship. It could be, um, you know, a family uh, relationship that you're trying to improve. And the Knight of Cups... Um, is pretty single-minded when he gets his heart set on something that he wants that he that is for him. This could be a love interest, like I said, or it could be a friendship or something else that makes you, um, that's just a feel-good thing. Now, the fact that the Six of Cups is reversed, so the Six of Cups is all about um, childhood memories and fond memories, and the fact that it's reversed is telling me that You should probably not be trying to rekindle something from the past. All right. Um, this night is telling you that you should look to the future toward new things. Don't try to um, revive an old relationship that has ended. Or even an old friendship that has ended, if it has really ended. Um... 
it's saying don't go down that road in April, okay? Maybe not, it's maybe not forever, but in April, to make yourself the happiest, to make this the best month possible, don't go looking for relationships. Um, don't go looking to renew relationships that ended in the past. Um, for new relationships, you should look to your future instead, all right? Now, in start, we have the lovers reversed, and we have the knight of wands. Again, the knight is a person on a mission, and the knight of wands is one of the fastest moving knights in the deck. And this knight is um, generally on a mission of uh, passion, something that they're passionate about, something that they're inspired about. That is what they're looking for. And um, the lover's card is... Uh, is reversed, which is saying that um, if you've been having trouble in a love relationship, um, if you've been having trouble in a current love relationship, again, don't look to the past, but you may want to start looking at what once was inspiring you, what once was... Um, what once you were passionate about, okay? And it could be it could be two different things. It could be different things for different people, but for some of you, this is going to be um, start looking for what Maybe you have a loss in this relationship. Um, the lovers reverse. There's something that isn't right in a in a love relationship that you are in. And again, this could be a romantic relationship. This could be a friendship. This could be um, a family relationship. So something is not right in a, a current relationship that you have. Okay. So what you should do is you should start looking about what brought passion and inspiration to this relationship before what start looking again for what brought what brought you happiness and passion and um, inspiration to this relationship before and actually try to get that back try to get that back so this is talking about start trying to revive a current relationship that may not be going so well rather than to look for something in the past or look to rekindle something from the past. That's not what you should be doing. You should start looking to what you can do now um, about this relationship to save this relationship by um, looking for the things that once were inspiring in it and that once um, that you once were passionate about. All right. Now, what you should continue doing um, the Five of Cups reversed. The Five of Cups is all about crying over spilled milk. And the fact that it's reversed tells me that you have pretty much stopped crying over spilled milk, okay? The way um, to carry on is to not continue to grieve or to be... Um, wallowing in the pain of whatever you have lost or whatever has um, caused you grief okay so continue to move forward continue to look at what you have to appreciate that to work on that and then also the strength card is reversed here and um, a lot of times this means that you may be using your strength in the wrong way. In other words, sometimes you may realize that sometimes um, force is not the way to deal with someone. Um, sometimes it is much better to use kindness and compassion and understanding. So um, if that's what you're doing, continue continue to do that continue to be strong but also continue to be strong in a kind and understanding way my mom always used to say you get more bees with honey than you do with vinegar 
I think that's what it was. But anyway, the point is, sometimes you can get what you want or get things to work out better, especially in a relationship when you're not trying to be forceful, but rather trying to be more kind and understanding. All right. And then what's underlying the deck for this month is justice. And justice is all about um, balance and making sure that everything is fair and equitable for everyone involved. And that is something that's underlying fairness and justice, actually, is your underlying theme for April. So make sure that whatever you do is fair and, um, and just and right for everyone involved according to, you know, what they've done or what they have put into a situation. Okay, so fairness is super important. Balance is super important. Justice is super important in April. All right, so that was your April 2023 reading. I hope it was helpful. Now, if you have come up with your yes-no question, please can concentrate on it now. I'm going to pull three cards, and I will put a crystal with each one so that you can choose which card you would like to answer your question. All right, so there it is. Pile one, pile two, pile three, and four. I'm going to put this um, lapis lazuli cube on pile one. I'm going to put the amethyst heart on card two, and I will put the tiger's eye star on card three. So take a look at those and. Um, Ask yourself, which one are you most drawn to? Which one is your intuition pointing out to be the answer to your yes-no question? Concentrate on your yes-no question now. Pick your card, and I'll go ahead and read. Now, this Pocket Oracle has, this is the guidebook. It's I've done a review of this if you'd like to take a look at it. So let's see. If you chose the Lapis Lazuli, the answer is get more information. And what the booklet says is, um, this card can function not as a general suggestion that more information will help guide your decisions, but also as a warning that people or situations might not be as they initially seem. Seek to learn more about your present circumstances. If you chose the Amethyst Heart, your answer is listen to your intuition. And that says... When you pull the Listen to Your Intuition card, you already know the answer that you're looking for. It is calling you to develop and nurture your intuition. What answers lie within? This is also one of the cards that might come up if you keep asking the same question over and over. And if you chose the third card, your answer is you're going in the right direction. And it says, at this moment in time, the path you are on is the right one for you. This card can also indicate that you are asking the right questions and that the direction of your inquiry is correct. All right, friends, um, that is the reading for Cancer for April 2023. If this video was helpful, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. It's completely free for you, and it helps me out a lot. Um, if you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified whenever a new video is released so you won't miss any of them. I want to thank you for being here. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever it is where you are. And I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.